Vita is a AD, the game developer, and 3D artist assistant. In this tutorial, we're gonna be going through 3D printing again, and this is gonna be the best. So, let's go ahead and drop our first measure. We're gonna be trying to select the topper by converting to face selection, backspace. I'm gonna need to scale that object a little bit up here, and we should just connect those here. So, one connect. I'm gonna need to scale that object down and um, control B bubble with the four segments. Now for that, I'll go ahead and convert that box to uh, a selection connect and I need six connects here. So there we go. I'm gonna scale them up here to make the hard surface. So we go ahead and stamp one here the bottom as well and one here. Amazing. So let's go ahead and enable the soft selection. That's because I'm gonna make complex shape here, so sorry, it's hyper rotation again, and we should be good to go here. Let's go ahead and try to disable the uh, soft selection B. I'm gonna need to jump there on select that edge loop here and reverse with shift, select the whole object and backspace. Now for that, we can go ahead and connect those here. So we'll connect them from the left and right side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the top as well. And the bottom here can stay as it is. So let's go ahead and apply our smoothing results. And that's the shape here. And so shift and copy. I'm sorry. And duplicate shift and D. So we get that shape here, amazing. Now I'm gonna need to grab everything and mesh combine. All right, so now we need to connect the bottom as well. So I'm gonna need to loop them manually here and brush them together. And here as well. So I remind you that for the world artist channel, we publish tutorials on ZBrush Max and Maya and sometimes on Unreal. So if you like this channel and this video here, then don't forget to support me as an artist to publish more tutorials here on YouTube. Amazing. So we're gonna need to select those here, so convert to face selection, front view. I'm gonna need to select that here. So we have the bottom selected, backspace. Now I'm gonna need to cap the hole here, the bottom, so brush together. Now we need to insert that, so a couple of inserts here. Now shift right click, book the face. Proceed. And we get that shape here, amazing. Now this is an art, so you can just use uh, your uh, and put your things in uh, that bus, but this is something you can just keep it in the living room or you could keep the bathroom. So this is a type of art here. There we go. So I don't want to keep those here quite smooth. Uh, the top here, so I'm going to need to connect them and connect. One connect. Amazing. So we should just go ahead and enable the edge constraint, angles, edge light, scale them down and lift them up with the move uh, tool. All oh, right, boys. So we got that shape here. Control S to save the bus. Amazing. So now, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna keep that just smooth and nice like this. So first of all, I'll disable my constraint, smooth out with the division uh, three, for example. There we go. So do not do that if you have no strong components. Control S, and now I'm gonna need to. Let me see here. File, send to max as a new scene, and we should give it a couple of seconds here. And that's the file. Amazing. So now the next step is to apply an STL check. So STL, STL check. Let me see here. Open subdivision is disabled, and STL. Check the STL, no errors. Amazing. We're just get to go. So file and export. I'm gonna 
Semitism STO IO. So, bus, pretty pretty. And let me see here. Uh, I need to be sure that the path is right. Now, let's, let's head to this slicer. So, I'm using basically the Anchor Mix slicer, which is the default slicer. Let's wait a couple of seconds here. So, there we go. We have the slicer open. So, first of all, I need to follow with me step by step here. And I'm uh, not gonna explain and go through the details here in this slicer because it's an, an addition software here. And I'm gonna be making more tutorials on uh, Anchor Mix slicer. But basically, so let's go ahead and input E file. Now I'm gonna open the VAS and it asked me about the dimensions here because Maya makes pretty small objects. So I'm gonna need to see that and scale the object as a dimension that is slicer for anchor make use. So alright. Now we have the VAS here in our 3D space. First thing first, I'll make sure that everything here is aligned on my uh, heat bread. So this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna use that size here, it doesn't matter. You could go and scale that object up a little bit, if you wanna. So in my case, the size is 100% or 124%. I'm gonna make that 140. You should just go ahead and select that here and type 150, for example. And you should be good to go here. So I'm gonna hit forward to this slice now and the, uh, the right hand bottom corner. Now that's finished so we have that arrow here which is going to show us the steps and the layouts and this is the way the 3d printer is going to print that object from the bottom to the top amazing so now i'll choose the fast printing here because enable the ai controller so enable my ai controller so uh, that's something goes wrong in my 3D printing, then the AI gonna stop the printing and we don't use more filament than necessary. So I'm gonna need to return back to you in about two minutes. So that's my 3D printer, and I'll return back to you. All right, boys. So now we're ready to print. The printer is on, and I'm gonna need to print. Okay, so on the right hand bar corner, I'm gonna click on print. And it should be just good to go. So let's give a couple of seconds here to send the file to the print. Okay, so I'm using the Anchor Mic M5. And if you don't know this brand here, you're free to check that out in the link below. So I'm gonna print. And there we go. So we have the nozzle, the heat pad, which is standing on 25 and 24 degrees. Um, let me see here, I uh, should be able to see the time here as well, on the left hand bottom corner, 2 minutes and uh, two, 2 hours and 8 minutes, that's best here, I'm just gonna use um, the filament here, let me see, it doesn't say anything about the filament, uh, 259 gram, so this is the amount of filament you're gonna be used to print that object, so again, that's uh, everything here. Now I'll turn back to you and show the final results when you finish that 80 model. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you. Take care.